Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks Geeks. Today we are going to see a problem wherein we need to search an element in a sorted and restricted array. So we know that in a sorted array we can find an element in three time complexity of order of log n when we use the binary search. But in this problem uh, the sorted array will actually be rotated and uh, it will be rotated by some pivot which is unknown to us beforehand. So what do we mean by pivot? So basically uh, pivot will be an element after which uh, the element is not, uh, the next element will be a smaller element. So if we say the uh, sorted array was one, two, three, four, five, and then we rotate it twice, uh, actually thrice. So the array will become this. So the one and two, uh, which were the first two elements become the last two elements and three, four, five becomes comes here. So in this kind of an uh, rotated sorted array, the pivot element will be five because the element which is just next to the pivot element is actually smaller than the current element. Whereas the, and because it is uh, sorted in ascending order, so th all the next elements should actually be uh, greater than the previous elements. But because this is a rotated sorted array, so there will be just one case wherein the uh, element just after the pivot will be smaller than the pivot element. So uh, the idea is to actually, first of all, find the pivot point, and then we divide the array in two subarrays. Uh, so uh, the pivot will actually be dividing the arrays into two subarrays and then we call the binary search. The binary search will remain uh, as the normal binary search which you generally do. So the main idea for finding pivot is that for a sorted in increasing order, the array is sorted in increasing order and the pivoted array. So the pivot element is the only element uh, for which the next element to it is actually smaller than it. So as I just previously said that uh, pivot will be the only element uh, whose next element will actually be smaller than the pivot element. For all the other elements, the next element will be always greater. So using the above criteria and binary search methodology, uh, we can get the pivot element in order of log n time. So let's see the uh, algorithm. So what we are going to do is that, uh, for, let's say we have this input array, three, four, five, one, two, and the element which we need to find is actually one. So first of all, we find out the pivot point and we divide the array into two subarrays. So in this example, you can see the pivot is actually two. Pivot is basically just the index. So the uh, index of uh, value five, is two and the element which is next to it is actually smaller than the pivot element. So one is smaller than five. Now uh, we call the binary search for one of these two subarrays. So how do we check that uh, for which subarrays we need to call the binary search? So if the element is greater than the zeroth element, then we search in the left array. Otherwise we search in the right array. So uh, because we need to find one here, so we compare one with uh, three. As one is smaller than three, so we will not be searching in the first half, uh, in the first half, but we will be actually searching it in the second half. So based on the comparison between the element to be searched and the first element in the uh, rotated array, we decide that if we need to search for the element, uh, search for the uh, element in the first half or the second half. Now, if the element is uh, found in the selected subarray, then we return the index of that element in that array. Otherwise, otherwise we return minus one, uh, denoting that uh, the element is not found in the array. Okay, so uh, let's see the code. So here we have the method uh, pivoted binary search which takes as an argument uh, the array, uh, its size, and the key which is to be found. Now, uh, to find the pivot, we actually call the method find pivot, 
wherein we pass the array uh, the low index and the high index so this is the starting point and this is the uh, basically the ending index starting index and ending index so we are going to look uh, in the function pi uh, find pivot in in, a, in just a moment but let's uh, go on to let us assume basically that find pivot returns of the correct pivot then what we do is we first of all check if uh, pivot is equal to equal to minus one if that is the case it means that the pivot doesn't exist and the error is not rotated at all so in that case uh, we just run a, a simple binary search and we just pass in the array the low index goes as zero the high index goes as n minus one and we pass in the key so this becomes a normal binary search uh, problem uh, if the pivot comes as a minus one but uh, if we find the pivot and then what we do is uh, we compare the element at the pivot index uh, with the key so if, if we find the element at the pivot itself then we return the pivot that is the index at which uh, we found the element otherwise what we do is uh, we check the first element with the key so here we are deciding uh, for which uh, half of the subarray we should actually be calling the binary search so we are comparing the uh, first element as we discussed in the algorithm with the key if the first element is smaller than or equal to key then we call the binary search on the first half so the low index is 0 and the high index is pivot minus 1 otherwise we call the binary search on the second half so the uh, low index goes as pivot plus 1 and the high index goes as n minus 1 now coming to the uh, find pivot uh, method so uh, it takes as an argument the array and the low and high index now first of all we check the uh, base cases so in the base cases we see that uh, if high is smaller than low then we return minus one if high is equal to low which means that uh, it just has one element so without doing anything we just return low otherwise what we do is we first of all calculate the mid which will be high plus low by two and then what we do is uh, we basically compare so if mid is smaller than high and this is basically to do a uh, base case checks basically that mid should be smaller than high and the element at index mid is greater than element at index mid plus one then we return mid so if the element at index mid is actually greater than the element at index mid plus one so the next element is actually smaller uh, the next element to the index mid is actually smaller than the element at index mid then it means that mid is basically the pivot so that's why we are returning the mid now the second check what we do is that if mid is greater than low this is again a base case check and the value at index mid is smaller than value at index mid minus one which that would mean that mid minus one is actually the pivot so that is why we return mid minus one so uh, in these both uh, in in these two cases basically you return the uh, value of the pivot here itself otherwise we'll be uh, we'll be actually calling the find pivot method again using recursion and we check that if uh, the value at index low is greater than or equal to the value at index mid then we call the call the find pivot at the low index as low and the high index as mid minus one because we have already compared the uh, mid uh, value so we pass in the high value as mid minus one instead of mid uh, so if this condition uh, becomes true then uh, we check in the first half otherwise we check it in the second half so we do the find pivot wherein we pass the low value as mid plus one and the high value as the same high value now you see the uh, the standard binary search method wherein you take as an argument the uh, array the low index the high index and the key to be found then you check if uh, basically the base check conditions that uh, high is if high is smaller than low then you return minus one uh, then we calculate the value of mid which is low plus high by two 
then you check if the key is present at the index mid if that is the case uh, then you return mid otherwise we check uh, we basically are going to call the binary search method either on the first half or the second half so if key is greater than the array of mid then we call it in the uh, second half uh, so we pass the value mid plus one as the low and high as the high otherwise we pass the low value as the low and the high value as mid minus one so we have connected all the dots here so let's just uh, see the final uh, driver method so suppose you are given the uh, this array and you calculate its size then you have to find out the key that is equal to three then you just call the pivoted binary search by passing in the array uh, the size and the key to be found and you will be returned the index of the uh, element index of basically wherein the key was found in the rotated array now uh, this does the job in order of log and time complexity because we are finding the pivot also in order of log and time complexity and then we are actually uh, using that pivot element we are actually finding the element also in order of log and time complexity now we also have a improved solution wherein we need can search an element in one pass of the binary search in the previous solution we are we were passing the uh, array twice but here we'll, what we'll do is we'll do it only once so we find the middle point uh, mid as uh, low plus high by two then if key is present at the middle point we just return the mid otherwise what we do is uh, we basically uh, check if uh, first half is sorted or the second half is sorted because it is a rotated so a rotated uh, sorted array either the first half or the second half has to be sorted so we check if the first half is sorted that is the array from low to mid then we check uh, we basically see where uh, we should actually uh, call this method again so on the first half or the uh, second half so if the first half is sorted uh, and if the key to be searched lies in the range of array of low and array of mid so if the if the key uh, should be in the range this because this is sorted array so we can check the range here then we just call the same method in the from the low to mid otherwise we call it from mid plus one to the uh, the uh, high index now what we do is uh, if uh, the other half is sorted so then what we do is we actually uh, check that if the uh, search uh, basically the key lies in the uh, second half which was sorted according to us that is mid plus one to the uh, r then we actually call the uh, same method again for the second half otherwise what we do is uh, we call it for the first half so uh, let's see the code so herein you see that uh, in this search method we have the same arguments array the low index the high index and the key then we do a base case check that if low is greater than high then we return minus one otherwise we calculate the value of mid and then we compare if the value at mid is actually equal to key if that is the case we just return the mid and we are done otherwise we check uh, which half is sorted so if the first half is sorted that would mean that the element at index l will be smaller than equal to the element at index mid if that is the case then we check if uh, the key lies in that sorted uh, first sorted array so if the key lies in between the low element at index l and element at index mid then we call the search method again for the uh, first half that is from low to mid minus one otherwise we call it for the uh, second half which is from mid plus one to high similarly if uh, second half is sorted then we check if uh, the key will be there in the range of the second half if that is the case then we call the search method again for the mid plus one to high otherwise we call the method again for the uh, low to mid minus one the driver method basically remains the uh, same so you see that we are searching the element we get the value of the 
index in i which if i is equal to minus one uh, then the key is not found otherwise we just print the uh, index wherein the key was found so that was all for this tutorial uh, thank you very much